Hello, this is a quick demonstration on how to create your free agent website in the Matrix MLS system. To begin, you'll want to be logged into the MLS. Next, you go up to the top to the menu that says My Matrix. Just hover the mouse over there and then go down and choose Settings. The first section is called My Information, and you'll look there on the far right for a link that says Agent Web Page. Select that. On this screen here is where we're going to create your free agent web page. Um, moving from top to, top to bottom in these settings, first thing you want to make sure is that you've checked it, Enable Agent Web Page. Then you can create your own URL address uh, by typing in a custom name or unique name. Now the website is always going to have your unique name followed by .gep.mlsmatrix.com. That will be the full email ad website address. If you type a custom URL name in there and it is taken, it will let you know. And I'll go ahead and show you that now. I'll type in El Paso TX and see if that accepts it. Your web page title is the title of the page that appears uh, on the top of the website. So it can be something like home search or properties in El Paso or something custom with your brokerage or personal name in there. Home page content. So I'll flip over to the page now, and you can see this is really what it's going to look like. Um, the welcome message right now is just a bunch of random letters just to show you what appears there. And this is where I'm going to type that in. So if you already have a, a bio or a welcome message written somewhere, maybe on another website that you've done, you can just paste that in here. Uh, but I do encourage you to type that, type something in there. If not, again, this section right here, the whole welcome section will not have anything in there. Okay, the map area, because you can incorporate a search in your website, you can choose to have a map area, choose not to, um, and also allow the user or person at your site to search any part of the map. So I'm going to go ahead and do specified initial map view, but I'm going to allow the users to search outside that area. And so I will want to click modify map area and define that. And you'll want to kind of adjust your map on the screen to, to tell where you want your consumer to first start off in the search. So I'm going to draw a polygon. And I'll go ahead and use that as my shape. You can use a, a sign-up form here. It will require users to sign up to get updates and information from you. You can preview it first bottom here or you can just hit save and I'll go ahead and hit save and I wanted to show you this it tells me in red here this URL is already in use that's telling me someone else another Kapar realtor has chosen to create that their domain using that so I can try El Paso Texas homes hit save and it looks like that one hasn't been used yet In case someone does, I am just going to change mine to all T's just to save that. Okay. After you've done and saved your changes, you can go ahead and view the site. And that's a good time if you want to copy that URL or make note what it is. Uh, this is my home page. It has no bio written, so my welcome message is completely empty. My profile information could use some improvement. There's no phone number for them to contact me except for the office. When I click on the Properties tab, that's the search. And remember, we defined this search region earlier with the polygon shape. But again, we are allowing our users to, to go beyond there. So let's go ahead and just pull up a property. Okay, and this is what the, the visitor to your site or customer sees when they go to, your, to view the listing. Okay, again, that's all under My Matrix Settings Agent Web Page. Thank you for watching.